When working with lists in Markdown, one potential area of confusion is the idea of a loose list versus a tight list. Many people don't realize this distinction exists at all, and you accidentally might have run into this at some point and wondered why your lists were rendering sort of oddly. Let's take a look at what a tight list is, how you can create a loose list instead of a tight list, and what's actually going on behind the scenes for each of them. So to demonstrate, I have a basic Markdown shopping list here, and I'm using an ordered list, but the same concepts also apply to unordered lists. Over here on the left, I have the Markdown text, and then over here on the right, we have the rendered version of the Markdown. Now, by default, if you have a normal list, it is probably going to be a tight list. You can see that the different elements of the list here, they're all appearing right after each other. And over on the right-hand side in the rendered Markdown, the elements of the list here are nicely spaced out. So there's not a lot of vertical, extra vertical spacing between the different list elements. This is a tight list. And you can sort of think about the ideas of loose versus tight as talking about the amount of vertical spacing between the different list elements. It's a little bit more subtle than that, but that's a good starting point to understand what is going on. So now what is a loose list? Where, uh, well, a loose list is a list where there's at least one blank line between the different list elements. So let's go and create that. So right after this first element here, let's just go and add a blank line and watch what happens over in the rendered markdown as soon as I do that. So I'll add a blank line. You can see that not only did a uh, extra amount of vertical spacing get added between these first two elements over here, but extra vertical spacing got added between all of the different list elements over on the right-hand side in the rendered markdown. Let's just take a look at that again. So we'll go back to remove that uh, blank line. You can see there's not a lot of vertical spacing between the elements. Again, once I add that blank line back in, notice how all of the different list elements have now been transformed and there's a uh, more vertical spacing between each of the list items over here. Because there is now a single blank line appearing somewhere in this list over here, it is now a loose list and the entire list is going to be rendered differently. It's not just the element that has the blank line, the entire rest of the list is now going to be rendered loosely, which again has extra vertical spacing between the elements. Now we could add this blank line anywhere inside the list. So we could go and add it. Uh, and let's go and add some extra blank lines here. So we could have multiple blank lines, for instance. We can even have multiple blank lines between two different elements in a list. So we could go and add a couple of different blank lines here. That is going to all render the same. It's only really that first blank line that changes the, the behavior and takes us from going as a tight list to rendering as a loose list instead. So as I mentioned, a good initial way to understand tight lists versus loose lists is to think about the amount of vertical spacing between the different elements. But to really understand the difference, we actually need to look at the generated HTML for a loose list versus a tight list. So I'm going to bring up the common mark spec here. And I have the exact same markdown text over on the left-hand side. And then over on the right-hand side here, instead of the rendered markdown, we're looking at the generated HTML for that markdown. Again, this is a tight list because there are no blank lines appearing anywhere inside of that list. Now, you can see that over on the right-hand side for the generated HTML, we have an ordered list element. And then each list item here just has the text for that list item. So very simple. It's kind of what you would expect for this markdown. Now, watch what happens as soon as I go and create a loose list instead. Again, just by adding a blank line anywhere between the different list elements. You can see that the HTML has changed. So if we look back over at the HTML on this side, we still have an ordered list. But now for each list item, we have a paragraph element that's being created with the text of that list item. So here, uh, milk is inside of a paragraph element. And the same has happened for all of the other list items as well. So all of them have now been wrapped in paragraphs. This extra paragraph element is what is actually adding the vertical spacing. So most browsers and most style sheets by default, they will add some extra vertical margin or padding for paragraph elements. And that is what is going to uh, then generate the extra vertical spacing between each of the list items. So it's not like we're really adding extra spacing. It is that we are creating a different HTML structure that is then being rendered differently for a loose list versus a tight list. If you still want to think about it as just how much vertical spacing there's going to be between the items though, that's probably good enough for most cases. Let's look at a few other subtleties of working with loose lists versus tight lists. When you want to create a loose list, you need to make sure you have a blank line. And that includes if you have multiple lines of text for a list item. So if we went up here and let's say that for this first list item, we actually wanted some multiple lines of text. So I'll just type out some random uh, text here. You can see that this is still going to be considered a tight list. That is because there are no blank lines appearing in the list, even though there, this first list item has multiple lines of text in it. To go and transform this into a loose list, again, we need to make sure we have a blank line somewhere in that list. Now the rendering has been changed, which is telling us that we now have a loose list instead. Now, sometimes Markdown's rendering can be a little bit confusing when it comes to loose lists versus tight lists. And um, it's pretty flexible, which can is usually nice, but it can also cause some problems. One example of this is what happens if you want to actually create multiple lists that are not going to be joined together automatically? 
Now, if you're wanting to do this, the first thing you might try is just putting a bunch of uh, blank lines between the two different list elements. So we could go in here. Let's say we want to split this list into two separate lists. You might just try creating a bunch of new lines between the different list elements here. You can see, however, that Markdown is still considering this a single list. It is considering it a loose list, so you can see that extra vertical spacing here. But you can see the numbering is going from one to four, which is not what we want. We actually want two separate lists here. Again, that is because Markdown will just look in and see all of these blank lines here and say, hey, this still looks like a single list. I'm going to render it as a loose list instead. If we really want to force our Markdown engine to render two separate lists, we can go and add an, an empty HTML comment between these two lists here. So I'm just going to go anywhere between these two lists, add an empty HTML comment using the syntax here. And now you can see that we correctly have two tight lists that are being rendered, the first one up here and then the second one down here. The idea of loose lists and tight lists also applies for nested lists. So let's go back here and instead of having a single list, let's actually go and create a nested list. So I'm going to indent these second two items here so that now we have a nested list where these are going to appear under the first list item. Now these are still a tight list. So we have two tight lists here, the outer list, which is considered tight, and then the inner list here. If we wanted to go and make the inner list loose so that it has that extra vertical spacing, we can go to the inner list here and add an extra blank line between these two list elements. You can see that there's now extra vertical spacing between these. Now, if we wanted to make the outer list loose, we'd have to make sure that we have extra uh, or a extra blank line between the outer list's items here. So we could go after milk in this case on the first item and add an extra space there, an extra blank line. And now you can see that the extra spacing is being rendered between the outer list items as well. You might accidentally end up creating a loose list if you try doing something like this in your Markdown. So let's go in here and we're going to try to like nicely format the source text of our Markdown. You can see that we've gone and added extra spaces around the inner list, so around the nested list. However, this goes and transforms the outer list into a loose list. So there's extra spacing between it and the inner list now. Again, that is because of those blank lines appearing inside of the source text. Once we get rid of those, then it is going to be a tight list again, and there's no longer as much vertical spacing between them. Sometimes, again, you do want that vertical spacing, but sometimes you don't. Finally, when would you want to use a tight list versus a loose list? This is largely subjective. So sometimes you just want that extra spacing, or maybe you have CSS that needs to work in a specific way, and it helps to have that extra paragraph element for a loose list. Personally, I find that tight lists are best when you have short lists of items. So each list element is fairly short, like the shopping list here. Once you get big paragraph list items, then I find that loose lists, having that extra spacing between the elements just helps a little bit with legibility. So that's personally how I use the two, but it's really up to you. So that's a quick introduction to the idea of loose lists versus tight lists in Markdown.